Hi, I'm John Twist and I'm going to show you how an MGB gearbox works. Now the gearbox that we have here today is the 1968 through 1980 four synchro, all synchro MGB gearbox. It is just the most durable unit you can imagine. Very little goes wrong with it. But sometimes it does, sometimes you have to enter it. So let's take a look on the inside and see how it works. Now when you're sitting still in the car, you're not moving, and um, your foot's off the clutch, and someone begins to push the car, this is all that turns right here. Okay, I'm, turning, I'm turning the drive shaft from, from the back. This is all that turns. We have a reverse wheel, a first, second sliding hub, and a third, fourth sliding hub. So again, when the car is still, when your foot's either on the clutch and the engine idling and it's on the clutch and, and uh, uh, the clutch disc is not engaged, or when the car is just turned off and someone is pushing the car. This is all that's turning. Now let's say that you're uh, sitting still, the car is going nowhere, but your foot's off the clutch and it's idling. Now we have all this turning. Oh my gosh, look at all those teeth. This is so complicated. No way. There are only really five things moving here. We've got the first motion shaft here, which is run by the clutch disc. The yellow gear is here. That in turn drives the lay gear, which is underneath, which has got five gears on it. But they're all, they're all together, so that's only one great big piece. And then we've got the third speed gear, and the second speed gear, and the first speed gear. So again, when you're sitting there idling, this is what's turning. That's all. And of course, it looks like a lot, but it re really isn't. So how do we get the motion from this into the main shaft here. Now the main shaft is my handy cameraman pans down. The main shaft runs all the way from inside here. These, these gears, these one, two, three gears here are splined against the main shaft and it comes all the way back here to the rear uh, where it drives the, the uh, drive shaft and that and turn the differential and that the wheels. So how do we combine the motion of the engine up here into the motion of the car. Well, we simply put it in gear. And we pull the sliding hub, the sliding hub over the engagement teeth, in this case on first gear, and bingo, we have first, first gear. Now what is first gear? Well, we have 18 teeth on the, first, on the first motion shaft and 26 teeth on the lay gear. So the lay gear, when the engine is running, is running 18 26 as fast as the engine. Then on first gear, we have 13 teeth here and 31 teeth here. So this gear is running 13 31sts as fast as the lay gear. We take this ratio, multiply it by this ratio, and we end up with about one quarter turn out for each turn in. Now if I turn this slowly, you can see that the main shaft, which is also the reverse wheel here, these three guys are turning at the same speed because we're engaged in first gear. But you'll see that second gear is moving a little more quickly, third gear is moving more quickly than, than second gear, and it's hard to see over the top of this, this um, guy here, but the, the, our first motion shaft is even turning more quickly. Now if we want to engage second gear, there's second gear. Now our main shaft is traveling at the speed of the second speed gear. You can see that our, our first gear is moving more slowly and our third speed gear is still turning more quickly. Third gear, now our, our main shaft is splined up against the third speed gear and is assuming the speed of the, of the third speed gear. And finally, in fourth gear, we have direct drive from the engine right back into the main shaft. And while all this is turning here, it's really doing n nothing. So how do the synchros work? See this little guy here, it looks like a house on its side. When we begin to engage second gear, you'll see that the inside gear moves. And as that moves, it traps this synchro. Out here it's not trapped, but as soon as we, as soon as we, we begin to move it into gear, it traps this guy and it locks, it locks these two gears together for this amount of time, from here to here. So you have that amount of time to complete your shift. 
And if you think about it, when you're making a shift in a late model MGB, the shift is usually pretty fast. The faster you make the shift, usually the smoother the gear change is. Now while this guy is running, he has to be oiled. So we're running along here, let's put him in, oh, put him in second. So this is all filled with oil and this oil is getting washed up over the top here. And I don't know if my cameraman can get into the inside of here, but there's a trough that runs along the inside, drools back to an oil pump. That oil pump has a, a scroll thread. It screws the oil forward, pushes it into the main shaft, and it exits underneath each one of these speed gears and up inside here. And that's what keeps the gearbox nice and nice and oiled. Now let's say you're towing the car. Okay, now get it going in the right direction here. There isn't very much oil that's getting thrown back up into this trough and it doesn't get oiled as much as it should. Reverse is selected by slipping a, a gear on the other side of the gearbox uh, between the reverse gear and the reverse wheel and now when we turn it you can see the main shaft is going in the opposite direction of the speed gears. So in first gear, now well, let's start here, we've got a we start, we'll start with our crank at the top and our bolt at the back at the top in first gear and we'll give it one full turn in and we get about a quarter of a turn out. In second gear if we put a full turn in, we get about a half a turn out. In third gear, we put a full turn in, we get about three quarters of a turn out. And of course, in fourth gear, it's a one to one ratio. So remember that this gearbox takes 20W50 Castro GTX. It's a durable unit. About the only thing that ever goes wrong is that the synchro ring here bursts. And it, that, uh, that requires a complete disassembly of the gearbox and a replacement of the synchronizers. These are very durable units, as I'll show you in just a minute out in the barn. Be sure to watch YouTube for our exciting technical adventures. And if you think the MGB gearbox is not durable, look at this. When we moved from our old shop to our new shop, I gave away about 50. Since then, I've got probably 20 of them back. The ones you don't see here are lined up against the wall over on the left. 